In all of the RVs I've owned, each has had pleated compression window shades that have spring-loaded tension strings. Over time, these strings fray and end up breaking with use. This can be especially frustrating if you are on a long trip away from home and would like to close or open the shade without worrying that the string on the shade will break. This came to a head recently while on a trip and we decided to learn how to fix these ourselves. In this video, we'll go over the step-by-step -step process of restringing one of these shades. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. I made the jump to traveling with my RV back in 2016 and have never looked back. I've had my share of problems along the way and this channel attempts to be what I wish I had when I started out. So let's go ahead and jump in. Before we get going, here are the tools and supplies that you'll need to complete the task successfully. First, you're going to need a properly colored pleated shade first aid kit, a handheld or powered Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a very small flathead screwdriver, a medium towel, possibly a small cutting board, household scissors, and some scotch tape. So part one is to remove the broken shade. You're going to want to identify the screw locations inside the window shade valance. These may be different for different window shades within the RV, and sometimes it's difficult to find them. Next, using your Phillips screwdriver or power driver, remove the screws that attach the valance to the wall and remove the valance physically from the wall. Next, using your Phillips screwdriver or power driver, remove the screws that attach the shade itself to the wall. And then you're going to want to remove the tensioner screws from the wall at both sides at the bottom of the shade. As you can see from this picture, the string is completely frayed. The next part is to restring the shade. First step is to lay the broken shade on a flat surface on a medium sized towel. You can also place a small cutting board under the shade to ensure that you do not damage the surface you're working on. Next up is to use a small or very small flathead screwdriver and pry off the four end caps from the frames of the window shade. You need to be aware that these are plastic and can be broken. Try to gently pry the caps off. Sometimes more pressure may be required. As you can see from this attempt, the end caps can be stubborn at times. Some end caps may be really tight, and you may need a smaller screwdriver to pry it loose. Next, use your scissors to cut the string in front of the knots near the tensioner. This will allow you to feed the old string out of the tensioner. Do this on both tensioners and pull the string out of the end caps on the bottom end cap only. At this point you should have four end caps and two tensioners free from the shade. Next, slide off the top frame cover. Hold firmly to the shade while pulling the cover off. The cover should slide off relatively easily. Next up is to cut the string where the spring and crimp come together. Remove the string from this side of the spring. Next up, attach the new string to the side of the spring. Double knot the string to the spring. Next up is to slide off the bottom frame cover. Pull the old string out of one side of the shade from the top side. The string should come out fairly easily as you hold the shade and pull. The next step is to cut the string on the other side of the spring and attach the new string with a double knot. Use a small piece of scotch tape and wrap the end of the new string before feeding it through the shade. Feed the string by compressing the shade and pushing the new string through the holes. You may be able to feed the string through two or three folds at a time. Repeat this process on the other side of the shade. Next up, wrap scotch tape around the string ends near the spring so it doesn't come unraveled over time. Tighten the tension so minimal string sits on the top frame. 
Next, you're going to want to slide the top frame cover back on carefully so that the new string remains fully inside the cover. Make sure the string does not stick out of the cover. Our next step is to crisscross the string at the bottom frame so that the excess hangs out of the frame on the opposite side of where you fed the string through the shade. Next up, slide the bottom frame cover back on the frame, being careful not to bind the crisscross strings. Make sure the string is coming out only on the sides of the frame. Next, feed the string through the end caps on both sides of the bottom frame. Secure the end caps to the frame. Next, you're going to want to put the end caps back on the top of the frame. Our final part is to reattach the fixed window shade. First up is to attach the window shade frame to the wall using the Phillips screwdriver. Feed the loose string at the bottom of the shade through the tensioner on one side of the shade. Tie a knot so the string doesn't pull back through. Attach the tensioner to the wall at the same location from where you removed it. Before doing so, ensure the opposite side tensioner has plenty of loose string to work with. Next step, pull the loose string through the tensioner on the opposite side of the shade while manually placing the tensioner back on the location you removed it from. Pull more string through to tighten the tension. Do not over tighten the tensioner. You may have to move the shade up and down while holding the string taut to get the right tension. Once you have the proper tension, tie a double knot in the string on the low side of the tensioner so the string can't fall back through the tensioner. Our next step is to reattach the tensioner to the wall in the same location. If the tension is correct, the window shade should be able to stop midway up the window without falling back down. Too much tension and it will be difficult to move the shade. Also, if you have too much tension, it will cause the string to fray more quickly and you'll have to do this process again, likely much sooner than planned. Finally, reattach the window valance on both sides using your Phillips screwdriver and the project should be complete. Congratulations on replacing your window shade. That'll do it. For a written version of these steps, visit the resources page on johnmarucci.com. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. We'd love for you to join the On The Road team by subscribing to the channel. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. You can also follow along on Facebook at John Marucci On The Road. Remember, we also have great resources including podcasts and blogs on JohnMarucci.com. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is John Marucci and so long for now.